Oh, exaggerated the Cuginis. They were on fire today, the Cuginis. Craziness. Craziness what happened in uh, San Siro today. Inter on fire. Before we start, guys, like and subscribe to the channel. We want and need your support. Guys, three out of four predictions so far are right. I'm very impressed by myself, I gotta be honest. Um, we're doing good, we're doing good. The only game that we didn't get right is the Friday afternoon game, Sassuolo Torino. I thought it was gonna be a uh, draw. However, Torino comes up with the win. Piaka scores at the 83rd minute. Juric's hand on the team is so apparent. Uh, they're starting to play really well. They created a, a lot of occasions in the first half. Uh, there's a few goals saved on the goal line with by defensemen, uh, posts, uh, craziness happened. They come out with the win, very good for Torino. Um, good. They're coming back, they're coming back. It's nice to see. Uh, Juric is really, really uh, doing a good job so far. The next game, the one that was this morning, Genoa Fiorentina. Fiorentina come up with the win 2 1. They were leading 2 0 all the way to the 96th minute. Uh, where Crisito scores the 2-1 uh, goal on a penalty shot, by the way, it was like horrible. Anyways, um, I was going to criticize Italiano a bit because he took out Nico, Gan Ni uh, uh, Nico Gonzalez, who was having a great game to put Saponara, but Saponara is the one that does the game, decides the game with a goal and an assist for the Bonaventura goal. Uh, great performance, guys. Fiorentina, three wins in the last three games, nine out of 12 points. They are on fire. They have a big game coming up against Inter midweek. And speaking of Inter, guys, what did they win? Like 15 nothing today? On fire. They could have scored another five or six goals easily. Even Mihailovic said it. They could have won 10 nothing. Uh, nothing to say about this game. They dominated from the beginning all the way to the end. Bologna, it was very alarming how quickly and how easily Inter went to goal when they wanted to. It was horrible. Horrible. Like, I'm sure if Bologna took the bus to go back from Milan to Bologna, the only thing you heard out of that bus is Mihailovic screaming at the top of his lungs. Like, it made no sense how easy Inter made it look today. Honestly, they won 6-1, but they could have been finished like 10-0. Um... We'll see. Big game against Fiorentina. Uh, who's going to win that one? We'll see. We'll have the predictions. But it's going to be a tough team. I think Fiorentina can cause a surprise in this one. They've been playing very well, honestly. Um, it's nice to see. It's nice to see Fiorentina doing good. Uh, they have a very charismatic president in uh, Comiso. You saw him in the stands again. Like He's very into it. It's nice to see. It's nice to see. I thought Fiorentina was going to have a harder here with everything that happened with Gattuso. But they signed uh, Nico Gonzalez, they signed Torreira, they signed Orgio Zola. Like, they made good investments. They kept Vlaovic, they signed Milenkovic to an extension. Good on them. Good, 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 good. And finally, the last game, Salernitana-Atalanta. We are predicted an Atalanta win. Atalanta wins 1-0. Zapata goal. However, Salernitana played very well. And Atalanta didn't deserve to win. They didn't look very good today. But they come out with the three points, and that's important. But Atalanta, not playing like Atalanta. So uh, we'll see how they do coming up in the next few games. Guys, like and subscribe, guys. Let me know in the comments what you think. More games tomorrow. Let's hope uh, the predictions are good. We'll review them. And then we'll have the predictions for the midweek games with our good friend Aldo. Uh, we'll see what he says. So, guys, enjoy your soccer day. Have a great, great games.